I want to give you a word that God told me to tell the people. God is about to restore everything that you lost, everything that you lost. He's about to restore it and give you back what you lost, what the enemy took from you. You can read along with me if you want to. It's in 2 Kings chapter 8, verse 2. And it says, So the woman took her family and lived in the land of the Philistines for seven years. After the famine ended, she returned to the land of Israel and went to see the king about getting back her house and land. Just as she came in, the king was talking with Gaziah, Elijah's servant, and saying, Tell me some stories of the great things Elijah has done. And Gaziah was telling the king about the time when Elijah brought a little boy back to life. At that, at that very moment, the mother of the boy walked in. Oh, sir, Gaziah exclaimed, here is the woman now, and this is her son, the very one Elijah brought back to life. Is this true, the king asked her, and, he, and she told him that it was. So he, he directed one of his officials to see to it that everything she had owned was restored to her, plus the values of any crops that had been harvested during her absence. God is saying in this us the value of any crops that had been harvested during her absence. I want to speak to you right now. God is saying that everything that was taken from you, he is going to restore back to you. You have been questioning and you have been going through some spiritual warfare. You've been going, but I'm going to tell you something. The reason why you was going through it is because the enemy wants you to give up. He wants you to throw the towel in. He wants you to call it quits. But God is saying he's going to restore back to you what the locust ate. He's going to give it back to you. He's going to give it back to you. And I want to speak this right now in the name of Jesus. That in the next 24 hours, I decree that you will have something that's going to give you confirmation that this word this is confirmation the word is, but that this word is for you because you're going to receive a blessing within the next 24 hours. I prophesied this two days ago, two days ago, 24 hours. I think it was, yeah, two days ago, and someone received a, a brand new car. So I'm going to prophesy this right now in the name of Jesus, that in 24 hours you will receive confirmation that this word is for you because you are going to receive something, a blessing. That God is going to let you know that is that you're going to be restored. You're going to be restored. You lost a lot. And you've been going through a lot. You see, there are people, it took them 30 to 40 to 50 years, 60 years to get where they're at. But God is going to give you what they have. And it's going to take in weeks, in days, in months. What, the, what took them for years to get. God blessed Job in the Bible in his later years. So you're thinking it's over for you. you. You're too old. Or maybe you think you're too young. But God is saying, I'm going to restore what you missed out on. You have, you have trusted in people. You have lost some things. You have came up empty, trying to, trying to live dreams, dreams out, when only to end up hitting a brick wall. God is saying, I'm going to restore you. You've been crying out to God. You've been crying out. God is saying, I heard you. I have heard you. And I want to read also a scripture. From Psalms, excuse me. I want to read a scripture from Psalms. It says, Psalms 4 and 3, it says, Mark this well. Lord, the Lord has set apart the redeemed for himself. Therefore, he will listen to me and answer when I call to him. You have cried out to God, and he said, I heard you. I have heard your cry. I've heard your prayer. And it says, Stand before the Lord in awe and do not sin against him. Believe, don't sin. When you don't believe, it's sin, and technically it's sin, because he asks us, God tells us to believe, have faith. And it says, believe that God is listening, listening to you. Lie quietly upon the bed in silence and meditation. Meditate on the word. It says that when you meditate on the word, you will be a success. So meditate on the word of God. Meditate. Get you a word and meditate, because I'm giving you a word right now from God. But I want you to meditate on this word. Meditate. Hallelujah, Jesus. Because God is about to do it for you. And you're going to be to bless other people around you. You're going to be a blessing. You're the reason why you went through so much. You went through so much and you've even questioned why ain't nobody else, you know, going, going through what I'm going through. Because you are the open door to the blessings. 
what you get right, get touched with and be blessed with and restored with. God's going to restore family members. God's going to restore relationships. God's going to restore some broken dreams. That dream that you got, that dream that's up on that shelf, dust it off. The dream you put in the back on the back burner, take it off and put it on the front burner. It's about to be manifest. It's coming. It's, it's on the way. God said, get ready and believe and do not, do not sin. Sin means do not disbelieve. Do not be in disbelief, but believe and have faith in the next 24 hours. I want you to put down in the comments. If it's happened for you, because I, I prophesied this two days ago, 24 hours, and a, and a lady told me she received a brand new car. Then there was someone that said they got a phone call and they got accepted in the college. I want you to put in the, in the comment section of that, that God blessed you. The, la, the in, Let me say this. Two days ago when I spoke that, and now in the next 24 hours, you will be, you will be testifying that God did it for you and your family. God bless you. Be blessed.